Well hello, uh, welcome to my new video. In this video, what I want to show you how to build is a transmitter like this. Now this might look similar to the transmitters I normally build, but this is a UHF transmitter. This transmits on about 434 megahertz. It's, um, it's a pearl transmitter, so it's phase lock looped. So holding this transmitter or putting it on your body anywhere or lifting it up, touching the antenna or the battery, you will not move the frequency, it's rock solid. Now if you're a subscriber you'd know that when I build these type of things, I mean these are easy to build. These are very simple, they just use a cockpit to tank circuit for the oscillator. But if you're going to the antenna or touch them, the frequency will drift. And with these, I mean they're very simple circuits, got good sound quality and you can, you know, just use a normal standard FM radio and tune into them, great. You know, a good starter transmitter. This is a Ford, like I say, this is UHF. I mean, these are, you know, these are lower frequencies. There's a VHF transmitter, this is a UHF. So these are much higher frequency. And the advantage as well is having a much shorter antenna. But you need a transceiver like this to receive, or a scanner, or anything like that. You know, UHF receiver. But I use these Chinese transceivers, they're excellent. Very good quality, amazing. They're 30 quid as well. Now, like I said, this is a phase flop looped. Now, this is this 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 the I, the I see in this is a Max 1472, designed as an ASK transmitter, the modulation, basically for transmitting data. But it's got a reference crystal there, and what we can do, we can manipulate that with a very cap diode. Um, so that way we can get our we can achieve our um, narrowband uh, modulation. So they're a cracking transmitter, I must say. Very easy to build. I mean, these are simple to build, but if you you know if you've got the experience, you can build one of these. They use a, a you know a few a few small parts, but you know if you've got the soldering experience, you can make one of these yourself. I'm not credited for the actual design of this transmitter. I got this from a Russian website, but I'm going to build one very similar based around this type of design and use different ICs. Well, shall we get on with it? Well, the first thing we need to do is make the circuit board. Now I could use dip trace, it's what I normally make with professional boards with to get them manufactured in China. But with this circuit I'll just use, a, I think it's Paint Shop Pro, somewhere similar, to just create a circuit with a paint program. So anyone can do it. So we'll, what we'll do first of all is design the circuit, print it, and we'll use the um, toner transfer method to create the board. All right. Let's get on with it. Well, what we need to do now is just cut the board to size. Here's some copper board I've got lying around, some old stuff. It's quite a small board, it's 28mm by 17. Here's a print of the circuit board. What we're we using. size. There we go, you might have seen this in um, previous videos. It was a, originally a gemstone cutter that's perfect for cutting these PCBs.
All right, the next stage is to print the design. Here's the design all ready to print. Now you need a laser printer to do the next stage. Here we go, just use some glossy paper. The glossier the paper, the easier um, the, the tone of print is to come off. So let's go, let's print that. There we go. There's our print. Our next stage is transferring this print to the board. So what I'll do is pre the board for about a minute. So I've got to put the circuit board down here. Put the iron here, warmed up. I'll just lay that down there to set my stopwatch. And I'll have that on for about a minute. Alright, and that's been, been on the board now, just over a minute now. And it needs to be pretty accurate at this stage. So the board's pretty warm. So get your prints. Just lay it down. There you go. I'll just put the iron back on it now. A bit of paper in between. And what I'll do, I'll just gently move it about. And I'll leave this on for about three, between three and four minutes. Just, just, just applying slight pressure, not too much. You don't want to smudge the print. All right, then we'll see you in about three or four minutes. Now, just gently. What I'll do is lift this off for about five, seven seconds, and just move the iron very gently across the board. Normally just keep the weight of the iron on it, you don't need to apply any more pressure than that really. Right, we're about just over two, 2 minutes 21 seconds. Now just over 3 minutes 35. Just drop this in a bit of water, leave that to um, what it'll do, just soften up the paper, makes it easier to remove. So I'll leave that in there for about 10 20 minutes. I'll see you shortly. Well, it's been in here about 10 minutes now. Just hope it's come out well. I've been doing these that long now. I do normally come out pretty well. Also, a lot depends on the pipe you're using. Sometimes I'll be slightly smudged, but you can. I'm going to clean them up. I'm just using a sponge now just to get the remainder of prints off. Come out too bad at all. Can you see that might be a bit dark, it's a bit dull in here at the moment. Typical British weather, it's dull outside. Yeah, can you see that? That's not bad. What I'll do now is drill it, tidy it up, and we'll edge it. Alright, next stage is um, just a bit of drilling. Got to drill one hole there, one hole there to the left. Can you see that? That's for the um, crystal. Um, one here and one here for the microphone. One here for the antenna. A one millimeter drill bit.
There we go. See that? All right, next step we're going to hedge the board. So basically what we're going to do is this solution of fluoric chloride will remove all the copper that's showing now. And because this is a toner method, um, it won't affect the toner. So the copper under the toner will stay where it is. So what we're going to do is use some enamel wire. You've got to use enamel wire because if you didn't, the solution will hit through the wire. Alright, now this stuff is very durable. I've had this in this container for about two years. It's still using, it's still workable. It takes a bit longer. I do need to um, replace it with some new fluid chloride. So what we'll do, let's move it around. I'm sitting in here now, this should take about, about half an hour, maybe a bit longer. Right, so we'll just drop that in there, and we'll come back in a bit. So shortly. That's done. If I say that. What we'll do now quickly rinse it and we'll take off the toner. There we go, just give it a good rinse. Do now, just remove the um, toner. You could you could remove this with thinners, but I prefer to do it with um, paper. There we go. That's the board all done. I thought I'd come inside so you can see this circuit board in the lights. There we go, not bad. I've done better. Slightly smudged. That's good enough. Well, this is all the parts that make up this simple transmitter. There's a board I did earlier. Wait for its components. There's a crystal. There's a transistors. There's all the other bits. In there is the main IC, the Max 1472. And I suggest if you haven't built many transmitters before, what you want to do is build this type that I've done before. These are three O parts. Easy enough to construct. Parts are um, fairly large. Now the parts on this transmitter I'm going to build now, this UHF transmitter, the parts are extremely small. So you need decent soldering scales to build this. I mean this is just a normal resistor here. You see how small the um, surface make parts are just underneath. Here we've got our 0805 power um, transistor, um, sorry, resistor. Transistor, resistor. Next, next to that in the middle is an 0603 resistor. And next to that is the tuning cap, tuning diode. I mean, you can see how small that is. It's tiny. So you need um, you need decent skill to build this. But don't be afraid to build it. Once you're done. Two or three of these. To be honest, I find it easy working with smaller parts and quicker. That should build it.
I'm going to do is put some solder on the um, board first. I was going to use my new um, soldering iron for this build, but I've looked everywhere for it, I can't find it. I mean, this is a soldering iron I normally use for, um, for old parts. It's not the ideal soldering iron to do um, this type of work. Use a bit of flux. Well, the first part is going to be the um, the Max 1472 IC. Now, just make sure if you're building this, you get the um, pin one towards the crystal side. It's quite a small part. This is so you might think, "My God, his nails are long!" But to do this type of work, you need long nails. Well, I've got the one side. Turn that round. Stay that's still focus for you. Right, so one side done. That's lined up very nice. Hang on. That's it. That's as quick as that. You see that? Bang on. Perfect. Alright, what we'll do now, we'll do the um, audio amplifier side now. Alright, first part is the resistor R1, 22k. I'm not adding too dark for you. Next part is the um, 20, 22 n cap, which is the audio out from the um, microphone into the um, base of the first transistor. And this is not the normal bar solder, but to be honest, leaning over the light, the camcorder, and everything else, it's the only way. Uh, that's still focused, I think it is. It's going to be quite a dense board, this is. I mean, you know, it's quite a small circuit board. Alright, that's that done. Alright, next part is the. Um, which one is it now? It's R2. Resistor. That goes across the, um, the base on the collector of the first transistor. This is a um, small part, it's an um, 0603 resistor, it's a very, very small part. Alright, next part is R3, 10K. Alright, next part to be installed is the um, first transistor. And this is why you need nails to do this double work. 
Not women's now. Transistors in. Right, next part is the output from the um, first audio transistor to the second, to the base of the second, which is just out. Transferring over to the base of the second transistor. Right, next part to be installed is it's a resistor, it's R4 across the collector and base of the second transistor. Oh, so it's not the audio way to solder, but demonstrating. You know, building this at the same time as recording, very hard. There you go. See that? There it is, cross out. The well, next part to be installed is R5, 10K. Focused. Here it is. There you go. Right, next part is the second transistor. Two transistors in that. Next part is R6, the 47k resistor. That's the sound output, final sound output. Next part to install is C3, so 4.7p 4 4 cap. This helps for the modulation. Is the second four point seven p? I've got a lot of room out. One side. Can you see that just? There we go. Is that in there? That's the second one out. Right, next part is the smallest part, it's the um, tuning diode, also known as a um, variactor diode or variacap or whatever. It's, um, this is what makes the modulation. Without this, the circuit wouldn't work. Just make sure you get this in the right round. It's a very small part, so this is where my nails are used. 
Can you see that there? That's the one side in. Very small part. There we go. You just about see it. No. There we go. Just there. Next two caps are C6 and C7. They are 1N and 100N. It's not very tidy, but it's going to be a working circuit, we hope. Got to be quick here, I don't want to eat that um, very cap up too much. There we go. Well, next part is the um, 08 05 inductor, the 22NH. What this inductor does. My bias is the transistor, the RF output our transistor in, in the um, Max 1472 chip and also it keeps the RF away from the um, positive supply That's the one side yeah. You can actually make your own Installed. Not a lot left now. Next part to install is the crystal. That goes for the other side. I've just cut the leads. This might be a bit tricky to get in while I'm filming. There it goes in like that. I don't know how to solder this here while I'm holding the actual crystal there. Let's just do some badge jobs out. Oh, I've got the one side in here as well. Alright, that's the one side in. Can we see that? It's a focus. We're zooming a little. Sorry if the camera's moving around. Doing this sort of job while filming is extremely hard. There we go. That's the crystal in. Cool. I should get the mark in next. Right, next thing is the microphone. Now if you're going to build this transmitter, make sure you use a good quality microphone. Because the better quality microphone you use, the better modulation you're going to get. This is a narrow band transmitter, but you want you want you know the best modulation you can get. This is an um, a Kepo microphone. I think it's Kepo. Um, frequency range is 100 hertz to 10,000 hertz. So when you install it, just make sure you get it the right way around. These are very sensitive microphones. I know I'm not holding it down with anything, but look at it. There you go. That's a... There we go. All right, because I want to make this transmitter as compact as I can, what I'll do is use this um, connector. I'll sit it underneath like this, but what I'll do. I use some meat shrink tubing to cover the complete transmitter. So let's get this and show it. I don't know if you can see that. Right. That's one side on. Let's just turn this around, shall we? So 
camera if you didn't see that. There we go, power connectors on there, so what I'll do, I'll twist it around like this. That'll sit in nicely. How about that? Oh, what's we got now? Is it tenner? Right, last thing is the antenna. It's only a short antenna on this. It's about 12 inches. Oh, the frequency with these transmitters, the shorter the antenna. You see some of my um, transmitters that I build. The ones that you can pick up with uh, you know, a normal radio, an FM radio. You know, the antennas on them are about 165 centimetres long. They're huge, aren't they? And, uh, what a bad job. I'm trying to hold this inside it. What I'll do, I'll put a bit more flux on that. See, that's why it's impossible to, to film and actually do this. Oh, actually, I should have put this in the um, holder. I'll do anyway. That's the antenna in. That's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to check the circuit over. Before we put power to it, I don't want to blow it up. It's any shorts. No. There's a UHF transmitter. Not the best soldering in the world, but gets the job done. Get any closer? Here we go. Well, I'll check it. What we'll do? We'll apply some power and put its cover on. Well, after all that, does it work? This is my frequency counter. You might have seen on um, various other videos. And a little tool for testing transmitters. Right, here we go. I've checked the circuit anyway, everything appears to be okay. So I'm hoping this will be on about 434.4-5. This crystal's not exact. So what we'll do. Right, hopefully we'll see something on the display. This is the first time I've powered this on. There we go. 434.564. Bang on. You see that? It's still got a full signal. Put me holding this up to the camcorder. No, it's just going away. Bang on. So we know this circuit's working. Perfect. Well, we don't know if the um, audio amplifier stage is working. So what we'll do. I've got this um, radio out. Obviously you can't pick this up with a standard radio like you can on the other transmitters. So what I'll do, I'll put that away. I don't want it too close. I've got a lot of feedback. Right, so I'll turn this on. Welcome. These are excellent radios. They're about, I think I've had about 28 quid for this off eBay. Awesome. So we'll go up now then. Six. Yep. Bang on. There we go. Yep. Getting feedback. One, two. Testing. One, two. Yep. Perfect. All right. We'll put the radio down now, and we'll go upstairs. We'll see how good the quality of the sound is. Oh, it's working anyway. That's great. Okay, the final test before I put the cover on. There we go. Got a 
a radio there. Yeah. Should just put the volume up pretty low. Mindcover.com. We understand that mistakes can happen. We don't judge talk. people. If you've been disqualified from driving or have a criminal conviction in the past, then find out if Vinecover.com can help you today. Just my show and put that up. Welcome. Oh, that's awesome. She was happy with So she sold her car to WeBuyAnyCar.com instead. That meant she became a cash buyer and was able to negotiate a better deal on a new car. I saved over £5,000 by not partexing. Sue, you're a star. See what you can save by not partexing. I'm on the other side of the house now. Perfect to the full signal. The radio's on pretty low. So it picks up um, you know, very low signals. Now, I'm testing, I've had these transmitters, I've got well over half a mile. I mean, you know, for the size of them. The RF output's about, about 10 dBm, about 10 millibots. It's astonishing how far this can go. Talksport.com slash driver, another video. Hang on, that is, isn't it? Another kid crying because of West Ham's son. Toddler reacted proudly after being given his first ever well, Amazon. If you want to build one of these yourself, go ahead, try it. I mean, you know, a small part, but if you've got experience in soldering, you do one yourself. Who will Theo Walcott be a bigger loss for Arsenal? Arsenal. Do you reckon? Yeah. I wouldn't say that. I think he's Arsenal. I mean, I'll have to get him cut. If you can, please don't leave any bad comments on me, nails. I will cut them after this video, but the way I've done the video, I need my nails. I know it's like it might look a bit disgusting like on the video, but there we go. Well, I'll see you all soon. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Next thing now is we'll just put the cover on now and the job done. Well, one of the last stages now, and he's putting his um, heat shrink jacket on. A bit tricky doing me sometimes. Try not burn the antenna. It's almost just it. There we go. I'll just trim around the mic there. Job done. Just trim the bottom off in a minute. Let it come down. No, what I do now is just trim, trim the edges. Put a sharp blade in there, so be careful. What I do, take all this off. Sorry for. Um, that one is one. What I'll do, I'll do the next one and I'll trim around the microphone. Good job done.